So the 2017 Telstra New South Wales Young Business Women's Award winner is Jen George. <laughs> Thank you so much. There's a whole process about this you'd think we'd get used to it, but um, a huge and massive shout out to all the like-minded bitches here tonight. Thank you so much. <laughs> Something I learned very early on is that I'm only as good as the people around me, so thank goodness I'm in good company tonight, so thank you. Um, I have some massive thank yous. Um, massive thank you to my partner, Henry, who's here tonight supporting me. This is not Telstra's first proposal on stage, by the way, but thank you. <laughs> Um, a huge thank you to my business partner Jess with Tammy. We're only you know a few months old, but we're already got clients in the UK, the UAE, Australia, and about to roll out across the US, the um, Southeast Asia, and, and also Europe. Which is uh, we're very excited about it. To give you an idea of the scale of this business in such a short period of time, I can't even catch my breath. I can't believe this. <laughs> um, with imagine Google on the search bar, you get 80,000 searches per second around the world. So probably most of you searched, what on earth do I wear to a black tie dinner tonight? <laughs> yeah. Um, our infrastructure supports 1.7 million requests per second, which is 40 times larger than Google in only a few months. So we've got a big challenge ahead of us in such a short period of time, which we're really excited about. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and another huge shout out to my gal pal partner in crime for like-minded bitches is Jane Lou. We've got 51,000 members around the world all women in startup who are, you know, doing crazy things like all of you in this room tonight. So amazing things to come um, with like-minded bitches. Very excited. <laughs> and I know you're all thinking, what on earth is this name? <laughs> um, and a huge appreciation to a major role model in my life is my mum, who's done a couple of several uh, successful businesses herself, which has been a huge inspiration. But two things she taught me was collaboration, 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 and ask for uh, forgiveness, not permission. Um, so they're two things that have been really critical in my career as I've kind of attempted to pull things together as I go. And the third and final, or the last person I'd like to thank who's been an amazing person um, is my partner in crime, my chairman, my mentor, the person who's really given me my first opportunity in all the things that I've done um, has actually been my father, Phil, who unfortunately couldn't be here tonight, but he gave me my first crack in business. He believed in me and he pushed me to want things more, to think bigger and, and really just go for it. So if there's anything that you can take from tonight, I want you to go home and thank the person who gave you your first opportunity. I want you to be yourself in business, you know, push to be as dorky, you know, I ripped my dress coming tonight. <laughs> this is how, you know, classy I am. But make sure, you know, be Bambi on ice, but do it your way and never lose that because you will never believe how unique that makes you in the world um, and how incredible it makes you at what you do. Um, and the third thing I'd say is please go be somebody else's first opportunity because you never know where that's actually going to get them. I mean, look where you are tonight. Imagine the impact that you can have on somebody and maybe they'll be here next year. So if you could all please raise your glasses to first opportunities. I think it's important to cheers to, to, to first opportunities. Thank you very much. <laughs>